Welcome to NCIX Tech Tips. The original Swift Tech H220 was a very innovative idea, allowing users to expand upon their closed loop, all-in-one water cooling units. However, there were a few minor issues that kept it from being the, you know, the only choice for someone looking for an all-in-one liquid cooler. Well, now we've got the latest Swift Tech H220X. It's here after a very long delay and tries to improve upon everything the original did and more. But has it been worth the wait? Don't worry, we won't make you wait as long as they delayed it to find out. Okay, we'll tell you now, after this intro. The new H220X is available in 240mm and 360mm radiator sizes. It features their new Apogee XL CPU water block, a powerful MCP30 pump, more on that later, a built-in reservoir on the radiator, static pressure optimized Helix PWM fans, and an included 8 fan PWM splitter. The 3 8 inch ID, 5 8 inch OD tubing is a lot shorter now as opposed to the super long tubes on the old one, which might be for a couple of reasons. Number one is because they were super long on the old one, and number two is that the H220X only really top mounts now, so you don't have to worry about people putting the radiators all over the place. I guess the last thing you get is a buttload of mounting hardware, including short and long screws and everything for any Intel or AMD socket you could pretty much want to mount this on. So let's start with the water block. It's much slimmer, which is a welcome feature because the old one with the pump built in was not able to fit on some extremely tight motherboards like the Maximus Impact series from Asus. The tubes don't stick out at sort of funny angles now compared to the mounting points, which means you've got full compatibility with ITX boards, memory slots, board with large VRM heat sinks, and other components near the CPU socket. There's also a super cool replaceable plastic cover so you can match the sort of trony glow with the other components in your system so it comes with white, blue, red, and green. The 45 degree metal swivel fittings are now also removable, so you can replace them with any other G1 quarter fitting you'd like, which is great. However, if your master plan was to take this unit and upgrade it to half inch tubing right out of the gate, Hold off on that because for now, only one of the fittings on the radiator reservoir pump unit is replaceable. We're waiting on an adapter so that that can be completely changed over to whatever else you'd like. Speaking of the pump itself, it has been upgraded significantly over the older one. It is now proudly advertised as being an MCP30. Swift Tech promises much higher head pressure, which is great news for people who want to expand the H220X. And let's face it, if you're buying an H220X, it's probably because you're thinking you might expand it at some point. The pump is also PWM compatible, so you can tune it for optimal noise and performance. Although, the thing that you can't tune is the reservoir color. It only comes in white. Pay no attention to the box art. It would appear to have a slight blue tint there. That's not the case in the real world. So the only way you'd be able to change the color here would be to dye the water. Although be careful with that, because additives can sometimes cause gunk and buildup. All right. So all of this aside, how does it perform compared to the old one? We ran Intel burn test on our test bench with the coolers sitting on top of our Haswell Refresh i7-4790K, and here is how it did. So the original H220's performance was never in doubt. In fact, it was one of the best performing all-in-one coolers on the market. As expected, the new one is actually a few degrees cooler. We didn't have the parts on hand, but we'd expect a larger difference once you add in additional components due to the stronger pump. So if you were to put a, a, a GPU on both of them, for example. Now, many people complain that you can't fully run a push-pull config anymore, but we found that the difference between push versus pull versus push pull on a radiator, if you're using fans that are optimized for uh, excellent static pressure, are actually not that big if you go back and check out that video that we did a little while ago. So adding an additional fan in this case lowered our temperatures by a whole one degree. Now, although Swift Tech only recommends mounting the radiator horizontally, we tossed the thing around in all different orientations and observed no difference in performance. The reservoir comes pre-filled to the brim, and this is true of both the sample NCIX has here and the one that I have. No air bubbles visible inside them at all. So the orientation, as long as you don't have bubbles being sucked up by the pump, shouldn't really matter that much in theory. So overall, the two main improvements the H220X has over the H220 are the better QC 
and the overall value of the components that are included in it. Of the samples that we tested, there was no grinding or air bubbles. The pump stayed very quiet, even under maximum speed, although the PWM controller allows the fans and the pump and other fans in your system to all be controlled by the CPU header all at the same time, which is great. Uh, the wiring is more robust. Everything is attachable and detachable. It's very expandable. It's just generally, it's just generally better. So second, for anyone who's been wanting to try to water cool their entire system, this isn't really an advantage over the old one, but whatever, you tried. Um, this is by far the least expensive way to do it. So for around 150 bucks, you have a powerful pump, reservoir radiator, CPU block, a bunch of fittings, a little bit of tubing. Normally, this stuff would cost anywhere from 200 to 300 dollars, like straight up retail prices. You can add a GPU water block, tubing fittings, and you're well on your way to a high performance, fully custom water loop, and you've just saved yourself over $100 for sure. And it also helps you save some space because combining all this stuff, assuming you were planning to top mount your radiator anyway, is definitely helpful. And the way that Swift Tech has configured it means that there's no risk of accidentally covering up your RAM slots or anything like that. So, I think that's pretty much it. Thanks for watching, guys. Comment below if you think the new H220X is a step in the right direction. If you'd want to expand it into a full loop, what would you do with an H220X? And don't forget to subscribe for more videos like this from NCIX.com.